Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome to The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD. So, let's get started. I was kind of hoping that this would have a remake put on the, on the Switch before I did this, but at the moment I'm going to be doing it on Wii U, so. And then maybe if there's a future version released, I might do it again, or go over whatever isn't covered in this. But this game is beautiful because it's... Uh, why can I not move? Oh, because I have to use the D-pad, okay. This game is beautiful, especially in this version. I've played a few randomizers on for YouTube before, but they were of the original GameCube version, and this version is absolutely phenomenal when it comes to how it looks compared to the original. So, let's actually, no, I kind of want to, kind of want to make it Link. I kind of want to actually have it be Link. So let's create our profile and let's go in normal mode. This is but one of the legends of which the people speak. Long ago, there existed a kingdom where a golden power lay hidden. It was pro pro prosperous land, blessed with green forests, tall mountains, and peace. But one day, a man of great evil found the golden power and took it for himself. With its strength at his command, he spread darkness across the kingdom. But then, when all hope had died and the hour of doom seemed at hand, a young boy clothed in green appeared as if from nowhere. Wielding a blade, the blade of evil's bane, he sealed the dark one away and gave the land light. This boy who traveled through time to save the land was known as the Hero of Time. The boy's tale was passed down through generations until it became legend. But then, a day came when a fell wind began to blow across the kingdom. The great evil that had- that all had thought had been forever sealed away by the hero. Once again crept forth from the depths of the earth, eager to resume its dark designs. The people believed that the hero of time would again come to save them. But the hero did not appear. Faced by an onslaught of evil, the people could do nothing but appeal to the gods. In their last hour, as doom drew nigh, they left their future in the hands of fate. What became of that kingdom? None remain who know. The memory of the kingdom vanished, but its legend survived on the wind's breath. On a certain island, it became customary to, to garb boys in green when they came of age. Clothed in green of fields, they aspired to find heroic blades and cast down evil. The elders wished only for the youths to know courage like the hero of legend.
Big brother! Big brother! Big brother? I knew you'd be here. Hee hee hee, this is my favorite spot to gaze out at the sea. When I play the gull with the gulls, I call it Ariel's Lookout. So, do you remember what day it is today? You're still half asleep, aren't you? Did you forget? Big brother, it's your birthday! That's why Grandma has been waiting for you to come back to the house. She's been waiting for a while now. It's a good thing I came to find you. You should probably go home and see what Grandma wants, don't you think? So yeah, we can move around as we would normally with the left stick. And we can roll around with A, I guess. Except if we roll into something, we kind of bash our heads into it. And bad things happen. Also with ladders, we can let go and then just fall all the way to the bottom, apparently. Or just, you know, go up or down. Also, it's going to be a bit complicated right now because uh, on the Wii U, the, the quick menu where you can do stuff quickly is on the gamepad. But I believe if I press plus, we can actually access that on the big screen. So I'm probably going to be doing that when I can. Anyway. Watchtower. To the left, or uh, well, the forest, forest of fairies to the right, which is very kind of misleading in the directions, but also true enough in the actual paths to follow, I guess. You can also grab onto ledges, which will allow us to climb on, on top of them. Now, I believe if I press hold down ZR, we can actually crawl, and we can crawl into the small spaces like this to get rupees, which are going to be the main currency, as you would expect from a Zelda game. We can also use the ZL to target, as we would normally. So you can lock the camera in place or target something with an arrow above it. We can pick up this pig and throw it around. It really does not like that. But hello, sir. Let me speak to you. Hoy, Link. What's today? That. Today's your birthday. Well, congrats, buddy. Are you that old already? Wow, time just flies right by, doesn't it? You blink and poof, there goes a year. Why, I swear I just cut the grass in this field the other day. But look at how tall it's gotten already. Know that feeling. Say, do you want to try cutting it, Link? You'd be surprised at the things people drop in the grass. It's fun. It's like a treasure hunt. Except you're gonna need, need some kind of grass cutting tool. If you want to cu cut the grass, that's just common sense, buddy. That explains a lot about Zelda games, apparently. Like, why there would be stuff in the grass, and why the grass would grow back after leaving and then coming back. That's really strange. But anyway, let's go over across this bridge. Also, this is just looks- this place looks absolutely beautiful. We can also control the camera with the right stick, just to look around as much as we want. I think if I tap it, click it down, we can go into first person and look around at everything. Man, just- It's absolutely beautiful. Especially with the shadows and- yeah, it's just so beautiful. Anyway, what do you have to say? Hoy, Link. Hey, is there... Is it true that if you just have a little courage and run as fast as you can, then you can jump to that rock out there? Huh? Is it? Is it? Tell me. I won't tell you. I'm going to show you. We can jump across here, which means we can get this blue rupee, which is worth five, and this yellow rupee, which is worth ten. We can also jump into the sea. And swim around, but we have a little meter at the bottom right of the screen. That's slowly going down, and if we're in it too long, you'll put us back on land. Probably taking away a bit of a heart, maybe half. Or maybe a whole, whole one, I can't remember. But anyway, we can just hop up back up into the land where there's a shore. 
and we can continue. Now, I don't think rolling into trees does anything in this, which is sad to me. But anyway, what are you doing? I just saw a wild, a wild pig. Oh, see, look at that black one there. Don't you see him? This is perfect. My wife was just telling me how she really wanted a pet. Are you ready to go Who grab it, Link? Now, you can't just run up and on it. Pigs are too alert uh, to their surroundings for you to just jog up and capture one. If you want to get close to one, you have to hold ZR to crouch and tilt up, tilt the left stick to crawl. Slowly behind it. Slowly. You could also distract it with bait, I guess. Okay, sir. Can I crouch, please? Thank you. So yeah, we can crouch, I guess, to actually sneak around. I actually didn't know that was what that was for, I guess. Because there are much better things that we can use it for. Hoi, Link! Press CL right there and use A to talk to me. Try it. This feels a lot like Ocarina of Time. Wow. <laughs> Just the, the way it explains things. That's correct. You're a smart one. You, my friend, have just targeted me. Personally. You see, when you press CL, you can target certain objects. I, for one, use it quite often to talk to folks who are far away from me. Of course, even if you, there isn't anything around target, you can press CL to face forward, you know. It's quite handy indeed. There are a myriad, a myriad of other th ways to use targeting as well. Quite an ingenious little thing, if I do say so myself. Of course, that's not the only trick in my bag, not remotely. I can teach you a few more things if you just, you'll just climb up that ladder over there and drop by my room. I don't think I'm going to do that right now. We're kind of making our way slowly over this way, but we'll get there. Oh, Link, happy birthday. Hey, did your sister Errol find you? She was supposed to tell you that your grandmother is looking for you. Speaking of your sister, I, she saw me at work the other day and she said she wanted to learn to carry jars on her head like me, so I... <laughs> so she could help your grandma with chores. So, if, the, you, if you see her, tell her that all she has to do is stand in front of a jar and press A to carry it. To put the jar down, she just has to press ZR. So if you don't want to throw it with A, you can actually put it down with ZR. Can you tell her that for me? Quite interesting stuff. Anyway, I was there. Just have to talk to this, th this, this kid, who I approve of completely, obviously. <laughs> um, your grandma was calling for you, Link, and so was my mom. Okay, I'm just gonna crouch under here and ah, bad things. Just gonna crouch under here and go through this little tunnel here that we is just underneath our grandma's house for some reason. And we can turn whenever the arrow's on the screen. We can even turn around, apparently. Or we'll go back. I guess that's what he wants. But anyway, we can go into this little hole here, which is another area, with a treasure chest in it. We can press A in front of it to open it, and we get an orange rupee. Just one of these is worth 100 rupees. Your face is beaming. It's a good start on rupees, especially because we actually have space in our wallet to actually fit it in. I wasn't sure if I did or not, I just did it and it worked out well enough, so let's get out of here. Quite a good reward very early on. And I think there are actually a few other places that we can do that on this island to actually get some rewards. Uh, but anyway, that's, that's enough distractions for now. Let's go inside Grandma's house. No one down here, I guess. We can actually break everything around here, though. Which is a little bit rude. It will respawn when we come back, but still. Just a little bit rude. I've been waiting for you, Link. Link. Try these on. Time certainly flies. I can't believe you're already old enough to wear these clothes. You got the hero's clothes. They look like they might be a little warm for this weather. And Link does not look happy about getting the hero's clothes. 
Don't look so disappointed, dear one. Just try them on. Today is a, a day to celebrate. It is the day that you become the same age as the young hero spoken of in all the legends. You only have to wear them for one day, so don't look so down. Be proud, child. In the olden days, this was the days boys were finally considered to be men. They were taught the ways of the sword to prepare them for battle when they're with their enemies. But we don't live in such an age any longer. Our ways are the ways of peace. Nowadays, I suppose Orca is the only one on the island who still knows anything about swordplay. Hanging a family shield on the wall as decoration is another tradition that has been carried down for those from those days. Does all this make sense to you? Yep. Isn't that nice, Link? They suit you perfectly, a perfect fit. Well, tonight I'm going to invite the whole town over for your birthday party, so I'd better start getting ready, shouldn't I? Your grandma is going to make your favorite soup for you tonight. Mmm. I just know you're looking forward to it. Now, go get your sister Errol. So now we are wearing the hero's clothes, I guess. Which look pretty cool. I mean, I mean to me it looks cool. But, to Link I guess he's not as happy for a random tradition on his birthday. Which, you know, that's understandable. Unfortunately though, it means that we don't have, we can't wear the outfit that we had before. Which I kind of like the look of. But, anyway. Well, now that we've talked to our grandma, I guess we can do whatever we want. Rolling into things and all that, and picking up this pot. Now, I believe, if I'm not wrong, we can actually go over to this lady over here and th throw the pot to break hers. That's just terrible, my precious jars, how could you? Quite easily, actually. Oh, I just lost money from that. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I, uh, I, I won't break your pot in the future, I promise. Anyway, let's go into this little ship here, this little boat, because this is Beetle Shop. Oh, a customer! Welcome to Beetle Shop Ship. I deal in pretty much anything and everything. Do you have anything you don't need? If you do, show it to me, I'll pay top rupees for your junk. Or do you see anything you'd like to buy? Just use the left stick to browse. This is the first time in a video game, or the other game that Beetle was introduced back on the GameCube. So, Beetle has stuck around for quite a while then. But anyway, bait bag, 20 rupees. This holds bait, it's quite useful and it's my very last one. You can't buy bait if you don't have a bag like this. This is the important thing to get straight away basically, so let's buy it for 20 rupees. It's a good thing we found that that orange rupee underneath grandma's house. In case an emergency, I guess. It's a shame that's not there anymore. You got the bait bag. You can keep plenty of bait in this convenient satchel. It has eight pouches for strong bait. Press Y, X, or R to see what's inside. You're the greatest. I'll never forget you. I'm going to make a member's card just for you. When you buy lots of things and build up your points, something good will happen to you. Something very good indeed. My shop is kind of kind to its customers. No other shop will do this sort of thing for you. I'll have you know. Now you have one point saved up. You should try to save up 30 points so you can earn a silver membership. So there we go. Now let's buy some other stuff. Let's buy some all-purpose bait, three servings, for 30 rupees. Good things happen to those who feed this stuff to animals. Do you have a bait bag, oh fine customer of mine? I do, so now we can actually buy this other stuff in here. Let's buy that. You got all-purpose bait! Animals will be drawn to this gourmet food, gourmet pet food, the moment you put it down. It has three portions, so we can use it three times before it's gone. Choose your bait bag on the item screen, then set this bait to Y, X, or R to use it. So now we have two points. But also we can buy a Hoi pair, just one, for 10 rupees. You can't buy this anywhere else, only here. I'm serious. Now's your chance. Buy, 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 buy. 
You got a hoi pair. Get a, a, a hoi pair. Anyway. This special bait allows you to take control of seagulls. Choose your bait bag on the item screen and select, you know, what to do. When controlling seagulls, tap A to flap your wings and accelerate. Press ZR to quit. But now that we've done that, I actually want to buy probably nothing else because I only have 47 rupees left and I pr probably want to actually save those up a little bit. But anyway, now that we have that on the item screen, we can actually set this to whatever whatever we want. We have Y, uh, X, or R. We can actually set whatever's inside the bag to what we need. So let's set that to, I guess, Y. And then set that to X. We can also just press B to go back or also use... Uh, hang on. What buttons am I pressing? Oh, if you actually- that's weird. If you press any other button, or A, I guess. If you press A on something, it'll tell you what it does. Which is kind of useful, I guess. But also, you have to actually press one of the use buttons to actually go into it. Which is a little bit strange to me. But anyway, we also have save and options here. And also, a whole nother screen here. Which shows... other stuff that we don't have. I guess so. But yeah, treasure chart and pieces of heart are stuff that we'll go over when we actually get them. It's... Pieces of heart is pretty obvious if you played a Zelda game before. Other than Breath of the Wild, I guess, but you know. And treasure charts... We'll go over that, because there's a lot of those that we need to do. But now we have our first use items, and we can use them by pressing the buttons that we set them to. And different things will happen when we use them in different places. I don't know exactly where we can use them, but if we use this bait next to a pig... It will bait it, obviously. But also, if it's over some mud, I believe... Actually, no, that might be later on, I don't know. It's not happening, so anyway. We also have the Hoi Pair, and it only, it only works if there are seagulls around, which there are, because this is uh, Outset Island. There are also crabs on the beach. I don't think they do anything, but it's interesting that they're there. But anyway, let's put this Hoi Pair on our head, and a seagull comes to grab it. And then we're in control. We can flap around. We can press A to flap faster, I guess. We can also use the left stick to aim and go all over the place. This actually allows us, though, to go down here. And I've always wondered, well, I guess yeah, that you can go from above, but also we can actually just go down here with this to actually collect a rupee. So anyway. Press CR to cancel. If you crash into anything or if you get attacked as the seagull, you also just return to being Link again, so... Anyway, all of the things aside, I actually want to check out what the old guy has up here. And then I might even go further up the track. I have basically no idea what I'm doing, but also I want to... I want to explore, I guess. So soon, my, 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 if you're already old enough to be learning those, wearing those clothes, learning those clothes, then it's a, it's going to be very important for you to gather as much wisdom as you can from now on. If you're to make your way in the world, that's it. That, that is, Link. Is that your hair or your head? Now, I've been studying on a, studying a wealth of topics since long before you were born. I'm what you, you'd you call the brain of all trades. I guess that's your head. You're a smart little fellow yourself, aren't you? I've been thinking it's time for me to pass some of my wisdom down, and maybe you're the one I should pass it down to. Everything that you see uh, tacked to the walls here is something that I've researched thoroughly. And before you ask, yes, I do know a filing system is odd. Organizational... Issues aside, however, it's all extremely useful information. You would do well to read it all carefully. Reading leads to knowing, you know. Such a racket, can't you keep quiet? You've knocked everything off my shelves, you dratted hooligan. Honestly, the hooligan I'm referring to is my younger and much less intelligent brother, who lives just downstairs. He hates studying all day every day. The lout just exercises and practices with his weapons. Does he exercise his brain? No. 
The brain's a muscle too, I think. Anyway, the only thing he does study is is the art of fighting. Right now, for instance, he's been studying fencing and whatnot. As that's not of any use to anyone. He simply doesn't know how to do anything besides exercise. I ask you, what's a brother to do? Well, I guess we can read the stuff in the walls. Um... I th feel like this is just the basic tutorials that we don't need to worry about. I could come back and read them if I know, I find out that they're actually helpful or not. But, you know, for now I'm kind of wanting to move on. But those are there if you want to read those. Now... Look around a few more places before moving on. Also, I see the, a few rupees in a few places that I don't think I can get to. Actually, maybe. If I go up here, then, oh hey, there's also a pot here. And if we go up next to a wall, we can press the A button to si sidle. And we can actually hold that down and then move in a direction to go right up against the edge and crawl across, I guess. Over to this pot over here. There's also another pot over there that I can't reach, so that's useful. Get some rupees out of that, though. I love everything about how this looks in this version. It's so beautiful, especially, oh my goodness, looking at the ocean. This game is beautiful. <laughs> this game's amazing. And I haven't played it for so long. <laughs> Not properly, at least. Now, I did see somebody was up here, so I'm going to talk to you very quickly. And see if you're worth talking to. This Also, you can get on top of some of these roofs to get some rupees, I believe. I'm not sure if it's all of them or just one of them. Some of them, I don't know. Oh, Link, you look cute as a bug in that outfit. I suppose I should congratulate you on your birthday, shouldn't I? Well, to tell the truth, I could congratulate myself too. We just finished building our little hutch and paddock today. Isn't a delightful, a de uh, isn't it a delightful addition to the place? I was actually thinking of getting a pet and keeping it here. The boys would really like that, I'm sure. Boys love pets. I wonder what kind of animal we should get. What do, do kids like these days? Listen, Derry, if you see any good pets around, be a lamb and just bring one here. If you do, I'll give you a little reward. Oh, but we won't tell your grandma about it, will we? Uh, okay. This island is weird. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Some of the, some of these people are weird. Very weird. Anyway, let me grab grab this pig over here. Then I guess I think this is what I'm supposed to be doing with this lady. I didn't know this was a thing. So also, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. Help! Send help. Pig, 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 pig. Pig. Where's pig? I can't see. Please grab. Why? Why is there no grab button? Working. Pick up? No. Pip, 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 pig, pig up. Pip, pig, pig, pig up. We can also put the, throw the pig into the water or chase it into the water. And it'll float but and swim back to shore, but still. Anyway. Let's take this pig with us, I guess. Go, 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 go. Go, pig. This pig looks very confused. But anyway, let me just, uh... Drop this here. Is this good? Why? Did you bring that little piglet all the way here just for me? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I've been thinking of getting a pet pig for a while now. The boys will be so happy when they get home, you sweetie. Oh, okay, Link. Uh, hold out your hand. This is your reward. Don't spend it all in one place. And we get a red rupee, which is worth 20 rupees. What a pleasant surprise. Why, this little darling is cute as a button, you know. It's so cute that I wouldn't mind having even more of them. Uh, is that a hint that you want more of them? I don't know if I want to spend much time getting pigs for you, but I guess I could get one more. I think there's only one more that I can remember of this way. So, so, so. So, aren't those clothes hot? 
Okay, where is this other... Oh, there's pig... I thought there was a different one. Is this the one that I saw before? I'm so confused. Anyway, let me sneak up to you, I guess. And pick up, pick up, pick up, please. Why is the pick up button not working immediately? It's so unresponsive, it's crazy. But it might just be my controller, maybe. I don't know. Or possibly just not being close enough to it. I don't know. Let me see what this does. Oh, is that another pig? That is another pig, isn't it? I have to now. I have to now. I have to get all three. I have to. I can't not do it. Okay, pig. Bring me however, however many you like. Is that not... Why? Did you bring me another piglet? Oh, were you all worried that this little guy would get lonely hanging out inside the fence all by himself? That is the sweetest thing I've ever heard. I mean, they're all by themselves anyway. Oh, anyway. Thank you so much for bringing us yet another family member. Here's a little something for you. Another red rupee. If you find any other little piggies, you know where to bring them. Well, I did see another one. <laughs> It'd be really funny if there were just more and more and more. Can I please grab this pig? Things I never thought I'd have to say. Pig, 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 pig. I think I can just grab it, can't I? I don't know, maybe I have to- maybe I do have to actually sneak up to it. Maybe I am just crazy. Maybe I can- Why? Ah, uh, I feel like I could just walk up to it very slowly and it would still be fine. Oh my goodness, please. Please? This seems like a lot of work. For six, 60 rupees, I guess, if this is another 20 rupees. But also, this would actually be good so I can buy some more bait, because the bait is going to be useful. Further on. So let's throw you in there. Oh, oh, look at this one. You sure know where to find the cutest pigs on the a whole great sea. Hey, Oinka. Oink, oink. Oh, now things will be ever so much more lively in the pen. It'll be like a big pig jamboree in here. I hope I said that right. Thank you so much. Oh, that's right. I can't let you leave without giving you a present. Happy birthday, Link. I see what you're doing. Making me do work and calling it a birthday present. I guess I'd better think up some names for these little oinky wonkies, huh? Please don't say oinky wonkies, please. Please don't, no. Anyway, I don't know what's actually inside some of these other houses, but I'm gonna leave that for now because I'm ready to move on. Also, I feel like this guy's gonna say something now that I've caught the pigs. come across wild pigs, you've got to be careful not to scare them. What you need to do is open your heart to them. Yeah, you heard me right. For example, you can feed them bait to settle down. Slowly crawl up behind them, that way we don't startle them like you would- yeah. Oh, and remember, to put away anything you're holding before you press the R to crouch, you can't go crawling ar about around with stuff in your hands. If you'd spend a lot of time actually talking to the NPCs, a few times, you actually learn pretty much everything that you would need to know. Wow, I hope I'll be able to jump like you someday, Link. It's actually kind of impressive the differences after you've done stuff. You don't have to say anything different, right? So, what are you doing? I'm uh, leaving. Goodbye. Let's see Errol. After all this time, we're gonna actually go see Errol now. You obviously don't have to talk to any of the NPCs except for Grandma and Errol to actually progress, but still. If you want to actually learn how to do everything, you should probably talk to them all. And they're also just interesting anyway, so. Ah, hoi, big brother. Did Grandma make you that outfit for you? But wow, you look like you'd be way too hot in those clothes. I guess they're pretty neat, though. So anyway, Link, can you close your eyes and hold out your hand just for a second? I'm going to give you my most treasured belonging, just, but just for one day. Happy birthday! You got the telescope. This is your sister's most precious belonging. Treasure it dearly. 
Set it to whatever you need it to be, and use it by pressing whatever button you set it to. Do it now! And see what you can do- you can see. Using the gamepad, you can also touch the slide items to set them. So, well, do you like it? I'm letting you borrow this special gift. Just because you are my big brother, aren't you lucky? Hee hee hee. Oh, why don't you try it out right now? Try looking over at the house from here. Uh, sure, let me just go over to the right area. And select that to probably Y, since that's easier to press quickly, I guess. So let's look around. We can look around with the right stick, like this. Hey, what's that? Link, are you looking at the red post box? And then we can also use the left stick to zoom in. Hey, what's that? Link, are you looking at the red post box? I am, actually. Now that you mention it, I am actually looking at the red post box. Am I actually in the wrong s- No, it's working. The postman looks kind of weird, doesn't he? Ah, Link, the sky! Look up in the sky! Okay. Do I need to be zoomed in? Or is there something to actually look at? Oh, there we are. Link, this is so terrible. That girl fell into the forest. She needs help. But it's too dangerous for you to go in there without something you can use to defend yourself with. Okay, well we have to get some kind of weapon now. I wonder where we could find some kind of weapon. But anyway, I think for now though, we haven't actually done a whole lot, but we've had a- we've looked at the basics of this game. Basically, but all the important stuff's out of the way. We've learned, just we've experienced the 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 character of this game, I guess. But anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.